Good morning, Heartbeat Andrea. Good morning. Good morning, Heartbeat Sherry. Good morning, good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Rachelle. Good morning, good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat on Gwen. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you all. Good morning, Heartbeat Juanita and Heartbeat Aaliyah and Heartbeat Belinda. Good morning to you all. Happy Monday morning. I hope that you guys had a great weekend. Hope you got some rest. Hope you had some fun. Hope you experienced God's favor and all that good stuff that goes with it. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Queen. Oh, hey there, Heartbeat Puddin' Pop, Heartbeat Latanya. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Magnificent Monday. Yes, it is, Heartbeat Sherry. Yes, it is. Good morning. It is a magnificent Monday. Good morning, Heartbeat Carolyn. Good morning, Marvelous Monday. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, Heartbeat Alicia. Good morning, good morning, good morning, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. So wherever you are, come on, let's change the atmosphere in the room where you are. Let's praise Jesus. Let's make it conducive for him to move in your life in this same self hour. It is possible if you believe things can turn around right in this same self hour. Ask the centenarian servant. Ask him. He knows all about it. So we're going to go ahead and get started this morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the gathering of hearts by God wants me whole. And this morning, your daily dosage, we are going to pick right up where we left off on Friday. And so the daily dosage for this morning is restoration and restitution of all. And so we're going to go right back into 1 Thessalonians 5, 23 and 24 in the Message Bible. And it says this, it says, may God himself, the God who makes everything holy and whole, make you holy and whole. And we're going to stop right there. What is whole? Is nothing missing? Is nothing lacking? Is nothing broken? And it says, may the God himself, who he is already holy and whole, may he make you holy and whole. Then he says this, the word says this, put you together, spirit, soul, and body. And so we know that we're made up of a, we're of three parts, the spirit. And so he says that he's going to put you back together, um, spirit, soul, and body. So spirit, when he puts your spirit back together, he's going to make it where you're able to commune with him. Remember, we got rid of the distractions or we learned about the distractions. And so now we're at a point where God is making you whole. And he says this, he says, I'm going to put you back together where my spirit can commune with your spirit, where there is no interference in the frequency. You will always hear me when I'm speaking to you because my sheep know my voice. He says, I'm going to put you back together gather again where there's always constant communication where you will hear directly from me you won't have to worry about what somebody else said I said you're going to hear it for yourself put you back together spirit soul your soul your mind your will your thinker your chooser your emotions he says I'm going to put your emotions back together where your emotions will no longer run you but you will be in charge of your emotions so no longer will you make decisions with your emotions that can cost you your life. No, you're going to consult me because your spirit will be communing with my spirit and you will no longer make those costly mistakes. Why? Because you are putting me first. You're thinking on the things that I tell you to think on. You're seeking me for wisdom. You're seeking me for direction. And so you're making the right decisions. He says, I'm going to put you back together again, spirit, soul, and body. What does that sound like? He's talking about your health. I'm going to take you back to those days of eating where there was no sickness, where there was no disease, you're not even going to know what medication is. You're not going to need it because I'm going to put you back together again. And so once I commune with you more and more, see, you're going to make better decisions. So you're not going to continuously eating hot sauce on everything. You're not going to continuously eating foods that are not good for you. You're going to make wiser decisions. You're going to eat, make better choices in eating. And so he says, I'm going to put you back together again, spirit, soul, and body. Then he says this. He said, I'm going to keep you fit. I'm going to keep you fit until I come. Does that sound like restoration? 
to you. Then he says this, the one who called you, oh, he is completely dependable. He said, if I said it, he says, then I'm going to do it. That sounds like restoration to me. So let's flip on over to Joel or Joel, however you pronounce it too, verses 23 to 27. And I'm reading it out of the World Messianic Bible. And it says this, be glad then you children of Zion and rejoice in the Lord your God for he gives you the early rain in just measure and he causes the rain to come down for you, the early rain and the latter rain as before. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? You're going to get the former rain and the latter rain. So you're not going to miss out on anything. It says the threshing floors will be full of wheat and the vats will overflow with new wine and oil. I will restore to you the years the swarming locust has eaten, the great locust, the grasshopper, and the caterpillar, my great army which I sent unto you. So you've got to hear me on this morning. I will restore Carolyn. I will restore Andrea. I will restore Sherry. I will restore Gwen. I will restore Juanita. I will restore Queen O. I will restore Rachel. I will restore Alicia. I will restore Belinda. I will restore I I will restore Christine. I will restore Latanya. I will restore Val. Are you hearing what God is saying to you? I will restore to you. Then he says this, you will have plenty to eat and be satisfied and will praise the name of the Lord, your God, who has dealt wondrous with you and my people will never again be disappointed. You will know that I am the Lord, your God, and there is no one else and my people will never again be disappointed. I want you to get the magnitude of what I'm saying, what, what the Bible is saying. He says, I will restore. What does restore mean? Bring back, reinstate, get this. I'm going to reinstate you back to what I said you were supposed to be. He says, look, reinstate. It says to return to a former condition, place or position, repair or renovate. He says, I'm getting ready to renovate your life. I'm getting ready to tear down all that stuff. And then I'm going to put you back together and I'm going to renovate you. I'm going to restore everything back. I'm going to put you back at your original state. So no longer will you cry tears of, 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 of sadness. You'll be crying tears of joy because I'm going to renovate you. I'm going to reinstate you. I'm getting ready to activate you. Glory to God and bring you back from all of those things that the devil tried to take from you. He tried to take your life. He tried to take your happiness. He tried to take your peace. He says, I'm about to activate you. I'm about to restore you. I'm about to reinstate you back into where you're supposed to be. Glory to God. And then where's the question next? Okay, Pastor G, I hear what you're saying. I hear you say restoration and restitution of all. But Pastor G, when is it coming? I'm so glad you asked. Amos 9, 13, the message says, yes, indeed, it won't be long now. Glory to God. God's decree. He says things are going to happen so fast, your head will swim. One thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. And everywhere you look, blessings, get this, there's nowhere you can go. There's nowhere you can look and you won't see blessings. He says, everywhere you look, everywhere your eyes can focus, there is a blessing. If I look up, there's a blessing. If I look to the right, there's a blessing. If I look to the left, there's a blessing. Even if I look down, there is a blessing. He says, blessings like wine poured off the mountains and hills. I'll make everything right again for my people, Israel. They'll rebuild their ruined cities. They'll plant vineyards and drink good wine. They'll work their gardens and eat fresh vegetables and I'll plant them, plant them on their own land. They'll never again be uprooted from the land I've given them. God, hallelujah, your God says so. He says, and I'll plant them. So I'm going to plant Juanita. I'm going to plant Val. I'm going to plant Christine. I'm going to plant them on their own land. You got to put your name in there. I'm going to plant Aaliyah. And then it, get this, it says, Aaliyah will never again be uprooted from the land that I've given her. You've got to put your own name in there and know that it is restoration and restitution of all and that it won't be long now. So you've got 
to begin to make some noise and praise our King. Praise our Jesus for he's worthy to be praised. He is sending a word to you once again to prepare and get ready for breakthrough. Get ready for the blessing that's about to come. You've been in that state too long and he's getting ready to activate you and pull you out to where you're supposed to be. You're about to live your best life ever. Come on and give God a praise. Glory to God. Because he is so good. He is so worthy. Glory to God. Well, that is your daily dosage for today. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. I am so excited about what God is doing in the earth and what God is doing for his people. If you have not already subscribed to the YouTube YouTube channel, please do so. Follow us on all social media platforms that God wants me hold. Share this video. Make sure you um, let people know about it. Make sure you, if you're out and about today, listen to WHUR. I'll be on there giving inspirational moments all throughout the day. Don't forget, you know, don't forget, don't forget. Check the website out, GodWantsMeHold.org. And come on, let's close it. Let's seal it with you know what. One, two, three. Come on, say, God wants me whole. And I am getting whole by the minute. I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 730 with another daily dose of straight from heaven just for you. Enjoy this marvelous Monday. Be looking for restoration and restitution because it's coming. Remember, it won't be long now. I love you guys a bunch.